Okay. Thank you, Yossi Stepanski, virtually. Thank you, Avram, for combining the PowerPoint and a pre-recorded film, which it was a whole mm -hmm. ordeal to get it off the cloud, okay? And but, you can ask me uh, even, uh, even live. <laughs> okay, now just a few comments and then we can open it up if anyone wants to say something. Pecha was a Sephardic family, okay? Pecho became something else, but it's probably Pecha. It was also a rabbinic family. They were also in Yerushalayim. Um, so many, I, I forgot some of the points I wanted to make, but the, there's a new book on the Marit by uh, Ilan Iluya. He's a high school teacher in Jerusalem. He did on his the doctorate. Mabit, yeah. I on have the it. Mabit, I, even, yeah. I, I have it. So I, I started, I'm going to review it, but we, we gave it advanced publicity. Um, all right, Debo Tone is a known Salonika family. Uh, one of the women that helped me for the homepage for the Sephardic Museum is Chedva Parachia, whose uh, mother survived Bergen-Belsen. And Chedva has written a lot about Bergen-Belsen and Salonika. And she's from the De Deboton and Parachia family. Rene uh, Levin uh, wrote a book and did a project about the Debotones, mostly from Salonika. But obviously, some of them uh, reach Sfat. But there, there are different genealogies that can connect all these people. You know, Ben Venisti is not a dead end, but you can't, uh, it's, it's so generic, you can't make uh, conclusions. So that's, that's the problematic stuff, you know, because you thought originally that grave was uh, from Donna Grazia. I told you no, and then and no, one, no one agrees. But um, no one has ever done a really systematic study of the Benvenistis. I was a student of David Benvenisti. He wrote in general terms before he passed away about the Benvenisti family and then in Salonika and rabbis, et cetera. But uh, so there's a lot of stuff here. But um, hopefully the, the cemetery will be digitalized and, you know, we can keep in touch with you and we can update these things. And it's a, a fascinating uh, field. And thank you very much for doing this and staying up so late. Can I, can I add one comment? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, Professor uh, Renee Manamed, when she looked after the family of the Bouton, she arrived to Buena Sarfati. Uh, uh, who you know, has been uh, honored as a GRJ uh, because uh, she helped people to escape and uh, to and uh, she arrived to Syria and uh, there she found uh, the, <laughs> the wife of uh, uh, the 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 uh, president of uh, Isaac Ben Zvi. And uh, this is a story from Dave Bouton and uh, uh, this uh, story that we heard. I know, I know Yaron Ben Nae uh, did research on the origins of the De Bouton family. He wrote, he wrote about it. I know Yaron Ben Nae also. Can I say something? Can I? Yeah, well, all right. Yeah, you first by, by, by seniority, then Natanya. What? Shoshana, speak. Yes, please. Yes. Uh, congratulations. It was very emotive and very impressive. Just wanted to tell you the name Ordovainie. What you, it is probably Orduenia, a very important, common name in northern Morocco. Even the, it is the part of the song, which is the only dance, wedding dance that we know among the Sephardim is Viva Ordueña. So Ordueña is... Uh, so it's Moroccan, 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 not, not Sephardi. No, it is no a, probably of Iberian origin, though. It doesn't sound like it's a, uh, a Mustarabi Judeo Arabic name. I mean, Orduena in modern Spanish means to like milk a cow. Although, yeah. And it's also not a Berber name. So it's, it's, it's probably Iberian or Spanish or Castilian or something. Very, very interesting. Very much. All right, uh, Natanya. We don't hear you, Natanya. Who is Natanya? <clears throat> Anyone else in the meantime? Now you can hear me? Yeah. Okay, sorry. It's just a curiosity. My husband 
If you know my, you see my name is Vitron, but it's the Hebrew version of Bouton. <laughs> okay. It's, he is from Mexico. He is a crypto Jew. And his original name in Mexico is Witron, that derives from Bouton. Okay, Bouton or Bouton? Bouton. Okay, Bouton. Okay. I think in English they write Avraham de Bouton, B O T O A N. I think in English at least it's written. In Mexico, it's written with an H instead of a B, and it's we. Mm. But remember, it's just a curiosity. Yaron, these yeah, were such, generic. I think Yaron, Yaron Benae wrote, uh, I have it in my computer on, on the origins of the D Boton. Yeah, these, think... were, these were generic Catholic Christian names, though, okay? So then Jews took them. Mm -hmm. The family. I would okay. like to have your presentation if Itzhak can send it well, yeah, later. We'll, uh, we'll arrange.